Hey guys, Pokey Trips here, and today I will be going over the first week of free agency pickups, drop offs, and trades. Basically, how this works is every month that was not drafted is a free agent now, and any team can pick him up and then drop somebody off of their team if they want. Each team can have a minimum of 8 Pokemon and a maximum of 11, and you can pick up up to 2 Pokemon a week. So, the first transaction that we have here is the Arizona Houndoos picking up both Alolan Executor and Turtonator. I don't know how I feel about this trade. He's picking up two dragons. He already has a fire type. I don't know. It's it's whatever. Maybe he can figure out a way to use them really nicely. I don't know. It's He already said that he wants to drop Turtonator again, so I don't know. Next up, we have the Barcelona Keldeos picking up Mawile and Zoomer. Two huge power users, really nice users of huge power. Mawile can intimidate into the huge power. Um, very nicely, had it no sucker punch, it's a type becomes absolutely insane. The zoom rule, the same with it, but it doesn't have that priority. It's Aqua Jet becomes really powerful, Play Rough becomes really powerful. Two really nice Play Rough attackers. Our team looks mainly comprised of sweepers, and if you're thinking, well, he has Tox effects, we'll go into that later in the video. Next up, we have the Chicago White Sox picking up Sock. Not much explanation needed here. They wanted their mascot, they liked their mascot, they picked up their mascot simple transaction. Next up we have myself, the Cincinnati Peds, picking up Araquanid and Bear Tick. Now, the reason I did this was I needed a tank. Araquanid is a really nice tank. I really enjoy using Araquanid. One of my favorite Pokemon to use competitively. I didn't draft it because I didn't think it would be drafted. I was right. So I went ahead and instantly picked it up out of free agency. Bear Tick, I needed a really strong ice type, uh, somebody to use really strong ice type moves because of the likes of Trey, who has like six strong dragons. People who have a strong ground type, such as Mammal Swine, people like Matt Poo, who have a strong dragon type, such as Gudra. Bear Tick just seems like a mindless pickup for me. Next up, we have the Detroit Dialogues picking up Quagsire. Quagsire is not a bad pickup. It can learn Amnesia. It can be a specially offensive tank, or especially defensive tank, my bad. It could be a specially offensive hitter. It's just, it's a really nice Pokemon. It has Water Absorb, I believe, and it's just a very nice Mon altogether. Next up, we have an interesting transaction. The Indiana Bruisers are dropping their fifth or sixth pick in the draft, Slogheen, and picking up Exploud and Neuer. Now, this is really interesting because you shouldn't have picked up Slogheen in the first place in the draft. I'm sorry, Owen, but you shouldn't have. Now, I do like the pickups of both Exploud and Neuer. Both of these are very nice choice specs users, potential choice scarf user on Exploud. They both get extraordinary movesets. I really like both of these mods. Very nice pickup on pickups on Owen's part. Next up, we have the New York Blasters picking up Luxray and Gardevoir. Now, you'll notice later in this video that Trey made so many additions to his team, made his team so much better. Instead of being fully comprised of dragons, he now has another two non-dragon types, being Luxray and Gardevoir, but one that can Mega Evolve and get other Pokemon's ability, and one that has an interesting move set. Luxray can also be a physical sweeper, Gardevoir can be a special sweeper, Gardevoir can be a tank. Really nice pickups all together on Trey's part. Two of the best free agency pickups we've seen this week. Next up, we have the Phoenix Sunkerns dropping Rattata in order to pick up Silvali and Rosary. Now, with this, there's a special rule with Silvali that we allowed uh, Joseph to have. Every week, every Sunday, he has to announce what type his Silvali is so his opponent can prepare for it. Um, this week he has not yet because he has not been online, but as soon as he gets online he will announce what type it is for Karthik to build his team around it. And the drop of Rattata, I don't really need to go over that. Roserade, I don't really know much about it to be honest. I know it gets uh, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, Poison Powder, all that good stuff. Leech Seed probably. I know it has really nice physical attack. It's just it's solid grass type. For our last free agency transaction, we have the San Antonio Solars picking up Frostlass and Heracross, two very nice pickups for the San Antonio Solars. I really like these additions to their team. Now, uh, now we move into trade territory, which there were a lot of trades this week, mainly comprised of Trey's New York Blasters. Trey of the New York Blasters acquired the Denver Maripo Snorlax, the San Antonio Solars recently acquired Heracross, and the Cincinnati Peas Skull. That was very hard for me to say because I looked at my team after I picked up Arachnid and I thought, I have three bug types, this isn't going to work. So I dropped, or I traded Skullipede in order to get Haxorus. You can see there the Cincinnati Peds acquired the New York Blasters Haxorus. I know I already have a Dragon type, but I'm thinking, 
maybe I can do something with Haxorus, and if I don't, maybe I can use it as trade bait to get something else. I do need another tank on my team, so I, you don't be surprised if you see me drop Haxorus for a tank here soon. Next up, the Denver Maripos acquire the Newark Blasters Hydreigon, and the San Antonio Solars acquire the Newark Blasters Infernape. Now, the Hydreigon trade is pretty equal on both sides. One needed an attacker, one needed a tank. They got what they needed. Trey also got rid of a dragon type, which is very interesting. Another dragon type. He also got rid of one on my trade. And then uh, with the Infernape trade, very interesting. I think Matt Poo of the San Antonio Solars got the better deal out of this one because he needed a strong fire type. But hey, the, it's a strong fighting type for a strong fighting type. What are you going to do? Next up, we have, in my opinion, a terrible trade. The Arizona Houndooms trading for the Houndoom of the Barcelona Keldeos. And the Barcelona Keldeos acquiring the Arizona Houndooms of Logan Marowak. The Barcelona Keldeos have Tapu Coco. One of the only counters to Tapu Coco is a Logan Marowak. And Michael has just given the owner of Tapu Coco one of the best counters for Tapu Coco. Aluma Marowak can also be a rock setter, it can be a hard hitter, it can be kind of a tank, not really. Whereas Houndoom is more of a sweeper, kind of, if you can even say that. I don't really like Houndoom, uh, it's, it's alright. It can make it evolve, it, gets a nice, it has a nice special attack, alright moveset. This was just not a very nice trade. Lastly, we have the Arizona Houndooms acquiring the Tox effects from the Barcelona Keldeos, and the Barcelona Keldeos giving away Rotom Wash. In my opinion, Michael won this trade. Michael needed another tank, he got another tank. Karthik needed another attacker, I guess this is alright for him. I can see how it will fit into his team, I feel like Toxpex fit in better to his team, but whatever Karthik thinks is better. Um, there's no real loser in this trade, I just think Michael is more of a winner. Lastly, we have the Pokemon on the trade block. The San Antonio Solars would like to announce that Star Raptor is available for trade, and the Indiana Bruisers would like to announce that the Excadrill on the team is up for trade. Any teams that want to trade for these two Pokemon, please let them know. And those are all of the transactions for this week, guys. Any transactions that you think should happen, any teams that should drop to and pick up a certain Pokemon, any teams that need to do some trades, let me know down below, guys. But for now, this has been Poke Trips, vlogging off.